Hey there, Sam. Even if you're not a web developer, it is likely that you have heard of the term cache before. In short, cache is referring to data that is temporarily stored in a place for easy and quick access. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say on our server, we have an endpoint that will perform some super expensive task. In other words, the tasks are very time consuming, and let's just say they'll take around 10 minutes to complete. Now, when a client sends a request to our server, they'll need to wait for 10 minutes before they can receive a response. Now, imagine you're the customer of this website. Do you really want to wait for 10 minutes staring at the loading icon on the screen? I don't know about you, but I know I will certainly make a group of human beings called Karens extremely angry. Now, to avoid ourselves from going to wars with Karens, we need a better solution. The 10 minutes wait time is certainly a no-go. But the big question is, what can we do instead? Well, one of the easiest solutions is to use cache. What we can do in this situation is we can pre-calculate the result of this endpoint and store it to a cache. And when a customer wants to get a result of this endpoint, we simply need to retrieve it from the cache storage. This way, we no longer need to rerun the whole function, and we can send a result right away to the customer. And that is the whole central idea of cache. Now, when it comes to implementation, the big question is, where should we store our cache? Well, let's explore our options together. The requirement of our cache storage is that it has to be fast and serializable. If you haven't heard of the word serializable, it means that the object that we want to store is convertible into a storage-friendly format, like a string. Most data types are serializable, but there are some exceptions, like functions, which are a little bit more tricky to serialize. The first possible solution is to store our cache directly inside a computer's memory. This is a very common practice that is used in a lot of apps. The computer's memory is a great place to store cache because it's very fast and performant. But the only thing is, the data that we stored will not be persisted and will be cleared once the server is restarted. So in general, in-memory storage is only good for short-term storage. Now, the second option that we have is to store the cache inside a file. This is the most simple and straightforward solution and it should just work. However, if we are caching a large amount of data, storing them inside a file might not be the best solution because it is rather slow to read or write data on a file. Now, the third option is to use a database. With database, we can either use a SQL database like MySQL and create a table for our cache, or we can use a NoSQL solution like Redis, which is super fast and performant. Redis is actually the gold standard of the industry for caching. It can handle a very high amount of workload and scale very well as your application grows. I do recommend you to use Redis if you're going to implement caching in your app. Now, the last option that I will discuss with you here is to store the cache on a client side. In other words, in a client's browser, either in a browser's cache storage, local storage, or IndexedDB. Client-side caching works very well in a lot of situations, especially for static assets like images and videos. The size of images and videos can be quite big, and they might hurt our bank account due to the high bandwidth. So instead of downloading images and videos all the time from the server, the client can look up in its own cache to see if there's any pre-existing media files inside the cache. If not found, then the client will download it from the server and go ahead and store a copy inside the cache for future use. So the next time when the client wants to download the exact same media file, it will simply grab it from the cache rather than re-downloading it from the server. All right, so that's a brief high-level introduction to cache. Key takeaway for this lesson, cache is the notion of temporarily storing data at a location for quick access. Cache allows us to quickly retrieve pre-calculated data and improve customer experience. We can cache data in a computer's memory, file, database, or on a client side. That's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video.